Hello there, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Chit Chat, and on this video, we're gonna talk about something that can be a little scary when it comes to animation, and that's doing lip sync. Now, lip sync is making an animated character appear to be given the audio performance, and that comes down to recognizing the speech patterns, drawing the correct mouth shapes, and timing everything appropriately to make it appear as the character is actually the one doing the voice and not the voice actor in a booth. Now, animating lip sync can be a daunting and time-consuming task, but what if I told you that it could be easier? What if I told you that there were built-in tools inside the Adobe Suite that automate the lip sync process to allow you to go from something like this to to something like this with just a few steps. Now there are two different solutions inside the Adobe suite that provide auto lip sync technology, Adobe Animate and Adobe Character Animator. And I know those names make things very confusing, but for this tutorial, we're looking specifically at Adobe Animate, or if you've been in the program for as long as I have, you'll remember it as Adobe Flash. Now this tutorial won't be going over any designs or drawing techniques, just the process of getting your lip sync ready for animation. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Step one, creating our visamines. To get started, we need to create a set of visamines for our character. A visamine is a facial image that can be used to describe a particular sound. A visamine is the visual equivalent of a phoneme or a unit of sound in spoken language. For the sake of ease, let's just call them mouth shapes. Now, if drawing characters or mouth shapes isn't something you're used to, you can always use image library resources such as Shutterstock or Adobe Stock to find examples for character lip syncs. Because Adobe Animate is a vector program, I recommend finding an AI file if you plan on using a pre-made rig from one of these sites. As you can see, I've already created each of the different mouth shapes I'll need to create a proper lip sync. Additionally, I've added a slight job movement to each of these as well. Now this is a stylistic choice of course, and it won't apply to every design or character. So for the sake of this example, we'll just be using the base mouths that I've already created. Step two, making and setting up a symbol. Our next step will be putting all of these mouths inside a graphic or movie clip, which acts like a nest or a pre-comp if you're used to Premiere or After Effects. You can do this by selecting all of the objects, right-clicking on your mouse, and select Convert to Symbol. Now you can double-click on this newly created symbol to open it up into its own embedded timeline. Here we can split each of the mouths to be on their own keyframe in this timeline. It's important to note that the placement of these mouths will affect how they appear in the lip sync. I recommend using your character's head shape as a guide, to create a new keyframe, right-click on the frame you want to add a keyframe to, then select Insert Keyframe. On this new frame, you can cut and paste the next mouth in the cycle. The order in which you place these mouths on the timeline isn't going to matter because Adobe Animate is going to ask us which mouths we want to use later. You can also add a label for your keyframe by selecting the key then scrolling over to the Properties panel and typing a name under the Label option. This really helps you figure out where things are on the timeline at a glance, so I highly recommend it. You can also modify the scaling of your timeline using this tool here. Now that you have each mouth on its own keyframe, we can move on to the next step. Step 3. Assigning Visamines, aka Mouth Shapes. On your main timeline, select this symbol that we just created. Now you should see a lip syncing button in your properties object panel. Select that and a new window should pop up. It is here you will select the appropriate visamines or mouth shapes for each of the sounds. Once you've finished that, you can select done. Step 4. Adding your audio to the scene. There are two main ways you can add audio or any files inside of Adobe Animate. One is by adding it directly to the scene you're working on, and the other one is adding it to your library for later use. For this example, let's add the file to our scene by creating a new layer for the audio to drop into, then select File and Import to Stage. Then simply find and select your audio file. You should see your audio file populate in the new layer that we created. 
However, because we only have one frame on our timeline, it's not completely visible. We can add more frames to our animation by right-clicking anywhere further on the timeline and selecting Insert Frame. Now we should be able to see our audio. Step 5. Generating our lip sync. Now that we have our audio in place, click one more time on our symbol, then select the lip sync button in the Properties panel. This will bring up that window that we were in previously. At the bottom of that window, you should see a Sync with Audio in Layer option. Now, from that drop down menu, simply select the layer that your audio is on. Wait a few moments for Adobe Animate to calculate the animation, then ta da! You should now have a lip sync animation. This voiceover is meant to test the automated lip sync function in Adobe Animate. This voiceover is meant to test the automated lip sync function in Adobe Animate. Step 6. Fine Tuning Now, there may be a few sections where Adobe Animate didn't quite pick the right mouth for the associated sound. This is easy to fix as Adobe Animate also went ahead and labeled each of the keyframes for us as well. To swap a mouth shape, all you need to do is select the keyframe, then select the symbol, then select the Frame Picker button under the Properties Object panel and select the appropriate mouth shape. You've now swapped it for the more accurate mouth shape. It's meant to test the automated lip sync function. This voiceover is meant to test the automated lip sync function in Adobe Animate. And as you can see, applying this technique to an actual character rig helps bring this character more to life. With a little bit of finessing and fine tuning, you can make your character really stand out and have a pretty solid lip sync. This voiceover is meant to test the automated lip sync function in Adobe Animate. And that's the automated lip sync inside of Adobe Animate. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and maybe can use some of these techniques in your next project. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about this tutorial or Adobe Animate in general, feel free to leave those questions in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching. And as always, I will chat with you on the next video.